Hey guys, what's up? It's my random here, and I'm back with another origami tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to make probably one of the most popular origami models out there, none other than the origami crane. Now, I'd consider this to be an intermediate uh, level model because it does require some extra skill level, uh, and it might you might not get it on your first try, so some practice always will make perfect. So let's go ahead and start. So today I'm going to be using my regular origami paper. It's 6 inches by 6 inches or 15 centimeters by 15 centimeters. And for this we're going to start actually with the color side facing up and turn it so that it looks like a diamond. And we're going to fold the top point to the bottom point. line it up, crease, and unfold. Now we're going to rotate 90 degrees and do the same thing. Unfold. Now we're going to flip over our model and turn it so that it looks like a square and we're going to have an X running through the center. Now we're going to fold the right side to the left side. Unfold, rotate 90 degrees, and repeat. Now this part is where it gets a little bit difficult, so I want you to watch very closely and pause if you need extra time. So you'll see there are two creases here, creating a triangle in the center of your paper. And I want you to put your thumbs slightly below those two creases, and pinch slightly now you're just going to bring your thumbs together and you will get this three-dimensional diamond figure here and we're just going to fold over slightly and flatten into what is called a bird base. Now we've got some flaps up here and we also have a closed side and we want the flaps facing towards us for this next part. So with the flaps facing towards us, we are going to take one of these flaps and do a kite base and fold the sides into the center crease. And try to get it as pointed and as precise as possible at the bottom. Take your time with this. And you should get this nice point here. And we're going to flip it back to its original position. And this is what it should look like with five triangles. One at the top, two on the outer sides, and two in the center. Now we're going to flip over and do the same. Crease sharply because there are multiple layers of paper here. Alright, there we go. So now we have uh, this weird diamond shape, and we see this top triangle here, and we're just going to fold it over. And don't fold too much, but also don't fold too little, so you just want to get it just right. So now we're going to have this regular triangle here, and we're going to just pop that back up and fold on the other way, fold the other way as well and then pop it back up so we've got a double way crease here. Now on one side we're going to undo these folds and take this part slowly because it is the most complicated part and we're going to just bring this up to the line so not uh, revealing inside this triangle here 
and now we're going to reverse these creases and just bring it in like that and do the same on the other side as well. Just like that, you can go ahead and flatten out and sharply crease your uh, folds. So you're going to have something that looks like this. So we've got two triangles uh, back to back here. Now you're going to flip over and do the same thing. Unfold the flaps, bring just this first flap up to the triangle, reverse the folds, and flatten. Go ahead and crease, and here we have the basis for our model. Now what we're going to do, this part is a little difficult, so watch closely. We're going to do another kite, uh, kite fold and bring these two edges to our center line. I do not recommend this model for first time beginners. I suggest starting with some simpler models first and then advancing on to this, uh, to this one. So have some experience before starting. Now we're going to flip over and do the same thing. Now what we're going to do is turn slightly and open up this side and you should see a crease right here. And we're just going to take this here and fold up on that crease as best we can. So we're just going to fold this up and then fold the model in half, collapsing our point here. Now we're going to repeat the same thing, fold up on this crease and collapse and fold in half. This is uh, another difficult part, so take your time and try to make it as neat as you can. Mine's having a little difficulty here getting into the position that I want it. It's not cooperating very well, <clears throat> but this is what you should end up with. Now you're going to... Oh. <laughs> Sorry guys. My bottom here isn't quite even, so I'm just going to make this a little more even here. Maybe that'll neaten some things out. That is an important step. You want to keep your bottom here as even as it will go. Otherwise, your model will not stand up, and that is kind of important. So you want to keep your base at the bottom even. Now you're going to pull out your points slightly and crease here. I'm just going to do the same over here. Pull out and crease. One of my legs here, one of my tails or heads, also appears to be uh, not cooperating very well. I apologize for that, guys. Uh, maybe we can make this one the head since it already has a bit of a beak shape to it. So, since this is going to be our head, choose whichever side you want to be your head and just bend down a section of that into the amount that you want it to be 
the head. So I like that. And then this step is optional. You can open it up and bend down the crease, enforcing it and adjust slightly to make the head for our for our crane. And now comes the final step, which is folding down the wings. And you don't have to fold down the wings if you like them up like this, uh, or if you just want to flatten them out a little bit and have them like that. I prefer to fold mine down. I find that they look nicer when folded down, so you can pick an amount and fold it down like that, and then match the wing to the other wing to get them at the same length. Now you're just gonna fluff up your wings, and there you go. There's your origami crane. I apologize for the tail and the head. They did not turn out exactly how I expected them to, but uh, like I said, this model does take practice. Uh, practice makes perfect. It is an intermediate model, and I suggest you should attempt it when you are a little more experienced with origami. Um, I still can't get it just right, and I've been doing origami for over nine years, so if you don't get it right on the first or even the second try, don't worry, because you are not at all the only one. Alright guys, that's my origami tutorial for you today. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on the origami crane, the most popular kind of origami model out there. And it is an intermediate level, practice makes perfect, uh, so you do want to practice before uh, starting your first crane model. Uh, but yeah guys, thank you guys uh, so much for watching. I understand this is a long video, we're at about 12 minutes now, that's longer than my pen video. So I apologize for that, if you made it all the way here. Give it a thumbs up, like this, um, like this tutorial if you enjoyed it and if it helped you. Go ahead and comment, subscribe, share with your friends and family or people who enjoy origami because this is definitely something they will love to watch and do. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I apologize for the length of this video, but it is a difficult model, so... I hope you guys have a great day, and check out other videos on the channel, more are coming up. Thanks for watching, and see you guys next time.